another really enjoyable part of the learning experience with our Guruji Dhiracharastha is the camps, the developmental camps he organises. They involve a group of, you know, 10 or 15 like-minded students and we are introduced to the concept of, you know, solid riyas. So it's, you know, a really classical, traditional concept of building hand dexterity, you know, getting that clarity of tone, that really solid, beautiful, you know, articulate sound. Very nice. When you're with like-minded peers, you're pushed farther. Even, you know, that competitive spirit, like, you know, let me challenge you to this. Let me challenge you to this. It really builds you up. Not only the opportunity to work with Dheeraj to you know, clarify our tone and our sound, it's also the opportunity that we work with other students. from Guruji since I was eight years old. Over the years, yeah, I've learned so much from him, um, learning to play with all different styles of music. So, um, I'm going on to study music in the next couple of years, and hopefully I'm gonna pursue that as a career full time. And in my culture, you know, most parents would push their kids to become, you know, doctors, lawyers, engineers, but with the support of Guruji, like, I'm breaking that stereotype. Because of him, you know, he's supported me and pushed me to because I've always loved playing music and with his support, he's you know, really encouraged me to, if that's what you do, if that's what you love, then why not do it as a full-time thing? So he, you know, he's talked to like help support my parents and support me and just my decision and just it really encouraged me to you know, pursue that. I started learning tabla from Guruji. He'd always try and make sure that we have all of our technique on point and you know, at the timbre of our sound and the loudness or softness of it. And since the beginning, because that conditioning has been done in our minds, he's really prepared us well for playing both in like a live setting and recording setting. So even himself, when he was younger, and still to this day, he used to play, record heaps with all these different other musicians all at the same time. And I guess through that experience, he's been able to pass that knowledge onto us so that when we, you know, play in a recording studio, we know how to play. Because playing live versus playing in a recording studio, it's very different. So having that, um, you know, conditioning and that, just that thought of, you know, oh, okay, I have to play differently in the studio is really helped and so that we've been able to record. Mm -hmm.